What's up everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke and as you can see I'm now driving a class 1 vehicle, it's awesome, check it out. So this is what we like to call the polar bear, it's, a, it's an MAN, it's a 440 horsepower, pretty standard for an MAN, but I mean it's a nice looking truck, the lights on the back, and today what we're doing is uh, we're heading down to Glastonbury with this flatbed. We're going to pick up some port cabins. We're going to take them to Avon Mouth. And then we're going to do the same thing again. So I'm hoping I can get some really cool camera angles for you. Here's the back of the truck, look. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get some cool camera angles. Some nice shots. But um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, got to get rock and rolling, really. Time to go. I'll show you quickly inside the cab. It's a bit of a mess at the moment because obviously I've got my stuff all over the place. That's my phone going off saying time to get up. <laughs> right. So we're inside the cab. I've uh, got my other GoPro here ready to start recording. Just tidy that wire up a little bit. Uh, sat nav down there. Dash cam. And then. This is inside the cab. So like I said, it's a bit, bit messy at the moment, but because um, it's not my truck, I can't really keep everything in in, it, in a certain place, keep it tidy. I've got to take everything out at the end of the day, just in case I'm in a different truck the next day. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, crack on to Glastonbury and I'll see you there. Hello everybody, uh, I am back. Sorry I haven't uploaded for a while. Um, as I've mentioned in a couple of posts, I just really wanted to uh, set on my feet in the Class 1 vehicle, uh, get used to it a little bit, because um, obviously I, prior to my test, that's, that's the only experience I've got. I'm not a brilliant Class 1 driver. I mean, it comes with experience, doesn't it? So uh, you may see some mistakes. You may see me struggling today, but um, just bear in mind, I've only been driving Class 1 vehicles for a week. So, um, yeah, don't be too harsh on me if I do make any mistakes. So, we're uh, just around the corner now from Glastonbury. Uh, Glastonbury Festival we're going to. We're going to pick up some porter cabins, I believe. How many we're picking up and what size we're we picking up, I do not know. We're supposed to be meeting another driver down here. Um, and he's got the paperwork. So, all I know is I'm picking it up from here in Glastonbury taking it to Avermouth. Are they coming back and getting another one or, or some more? Uh, I don't know whether they're plurals or not. So we'll have to wait and see. So it should be fun. I'm going to take you guys along with me for the ride. These roads down here get a little bit tight. Especially when you've got port cabins on here which are hanging either side, which I actually experienced earlier on last week. Um, yeah, so just to explain a little bit of what I've done in the last week. Monday, Tuesday, I was on curtain sided trailers uh, and I was hitching, probably done about two deliveries each and every day. And I had to unhook and hook up to new trailers every time. So, uh, in, I mean, in total, there's something like five, six trailers. That was Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, and then Thursday and Friday, I was on the port cabins. I had to go into a place called New Milton um, on Friday with a porter cabin and it turns out that the road I went down I wasn't supposed to go down uh, I was supposed to have been given instructions on where to go but I wasn't so I went down the wrong street the locals weren't happy with that and they were recording me getting back out taking photographs so that was an interesting day on Friday yeah you stay in there mate so um, yeah I had a bit of a nightmare Friday, a bit of a mare, but we got out of it, it was no problem. Right, a couple of more left hand turns and we uh, should be there. This is a quite a tight one. I need to go on the other side of the road to get the trailer around. So I've got to crawl, make sure the other side of the road is clear, which it isn't. Oh, 
thank you very much. Get the train around. Bob's your uncle. You've got to come back out that way in a sec, we're loaded. Well, <coughs> when we get here, I don't know where the portal cabins are, so if it's anything like last time, the security guards will ask me to turn to the right and park up, make a phone call. So that's what I do. I'll have to give a company a, a call and uh, hopefully they can then come and get someone to collect me. Like I said, I'm supposed to be meeting someone here for 8 o'clock. It's 10 to 8 now, so I might need to wait 10 minutes. That's all right. No problemo. So we're just turning left in here. Shall I put the beacons on? Been weaker. Better go say hello to the security guard. Hello. Go and take away whatever it is you come to take away. Port cabins. I don't know where I gotta go, so I'm just gonna wait over there. People are waiting over there. Yeah, oh yeah, I can see him now, yeah. Cheers mate. That driver I'm supposed to be meeting is actually already over here. So I'll do a big circle and meet up with him. I don't know if you can quite see him on the dash cam yet. A bit bumpy. Let's slow down a bit. So yeah, this is uh, Glastonbury Festival. I've never been myself. Last time I come here, I'm not entirely sure, but there was like this pyramid this pyramid shaped thing and um, I don't know whether it's part of the pyramid stage or not. No idea. Alright, that driver's still waiting there. Yeah, uh, in terms of workload it's a bit awkward because obviously I work for one company. We're doing work on behalf of another company who is then doing work on behalf of a third company. So there's a lot of people involved. And uh, I don't want to mention like company names or anything. I mean, the lorry we're about to meet up with has got a name on it if you want to read that name. That's who we're doing the work for. Oh, there's a metal clip on the floor there. If I turn now, my back wheels will miss it. Yep. So this lorry up here on the left, it's got a crane on it, and that is what is going to be loading me. And he probably has no idea that I do vlogs. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to meet up with this driver, and then uh, hopefully get some cool footage in a second of getting loaded. Right, so, as you just saw, we're now loaded. Have some drink. And we're good to go. We're not good to go. Because my side cabinet is still open. Go back. Right, now we're good to go. I can see myself losing weight doing this job. In and out, in and out. It's good for you. Right, here we go.
So we're all stuck down. Uh, so as I was briefly saying, the, the one at the front is a smaller one. So I've got two straps on it. And the one at the back is a slightly longer one. So I put three straps on that one, just to be safe. Uh, in terms of weight, they're virtually identical. So I believe we have to go out the way we come in, which is a sharp right here. Make sure the train looks at these guardrails. So yeah, what we have to do now is uh, make our way to Waving Mouth. Sat down and saying it takes an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and the way I am going is not the same way I went last time. Uh, A37, A361, A37, A37, A37. A370. So that's the road we're taking. That's the guy who's loading us. He's not in there. And that lorry there, look, is doing the exact same thing as we're doing, pretty much. It's all good in the hood. Uh, in terms of overhang, on the back we're fine. It's not actually overhanging on the back. In terms of the sides, probably about two inches either side hanging off the trailer. So, all legal. All legal. Before I get onto the main road, I just want to have a bit more of my drink. in work <clears throat> with regards to no hands on the steering wheel once again I'm on a private road there's no one around me I'm doing about four miles an hour that looks like a wire on the ground I'm gonna go out this side because that gives me more of a chance to turn around and get myself lined up Is that saying road closed because I can't get out that way, or? I guess so. No one's actually saying anything. Exit on this side, look. Excellente. Right, so we want to turn right out of here. We're going the same way in, uh, same way out as we come in. Bit of traffic to the left. Have to wait a little bit to get out of this. More traffic. More, 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 more. I could go, but I would hold up that car coming. So there's a gap after him, so I'll just wait and go after the car. Could have gone in between that gap. But I'm a considerate driver. Well, I'd like to think I am anyway. Right, uh, I'm gonna keep my beacons on just until I get around this tight bend, and then I'll turn them off. Uh, this bend coming up I need to take up both sides of the road to get round it so just to be safe according to the old twat now there's a bit of traffic on the route as well oh by the way you might have noticed that my first um, Tom Tom video went up went live on Sunday uh, there's four more videos yet to come two of which are giveaway videos so make sure you watch those giveaway videos uh, I have named, I've named all the videos myself, but TomTom Tom, uh, on the first video wanted me to call it a certain thing, so I've had to call it that certain thing, which is experience video or something, I don't know. But I'm hoping 
and the video is going to be along the lines of giveaway. So when you see the giveaway video come up, make sure you watch it because it'll tell you how you can win a free sat nav worth £370. Who doesn't want 350 quids worth of free sat nav? Hey? <laughs> right, anyway, so we are on our way to Avermouth and uh, we'll be there soon. Just take the beacons off. So I will see you in a, a bit. Just looking at my uh, straps. They're all done up tight, but the uh, the loose end bit has come off on a couple of them. They're not dangling on the floor. They have come off a little bit, but it looks all right to me. We're only a couple of miles away from uh, where we need to be dropping this off. I need to get half an hour break in um, before I go back. So if they take half an hour to, low, uh, to tip me, that's great because I get a break in while they're doing it. If not, then I'm going to have to stop somewhere on the way. Hmm, never mind. But yeah, we're just around the corner. Got five straps to take off, so it won't take long. The longest thing about taking the straps off is the, the rolling them back up. You know, you take the ratchets off, they go straight in the locker. And then it's just the wrapping round on the, uh, on the loose straps that take the longest. It could take a couple of minutes for each one. I suppose if you're really good at it, you can get it down to a minute. There's still five minutes, just rolling them up. So yeah, I mean, it does take time. So yeah, I'm running short on time. I've only got, let's have a look. I've got an hour and eight, no, an hour and seven minutes left. I'm gonna be there in about five minutes. So if I can't get a break in, I've only got about an hour left or so of driving time takes more than an hour to get back and then when I do get back I then got to come back here and then go home again so I don't know what to do I don't know whether it's worth driving for that extra hour first and then have a break then I've got four and a half hours of driving time again hopefully that'll be enough to get me to the rest of the way of Glastonbury back here and then home so I think that's what I'm going to actually try and do I think so. But yeah, nearly there. 40 miles an hour, make sure I'm doing 40. I'm doing 35. The, um, I've had a couple of comments from people saying you'd like to see more of the journey. Um, you know, like, as I, as I get to site. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Put the camera on a bit prematurely. I haven't really got anything to say, <laughs> but you can see what I'm seeing. Let's get into the right-hand side lane, seeing as there's a bus lane there. The matey boy still hasn't seen it. There we go. So last time I come here, the gates were locked, uh, the gates were shut, like barriers, and um, I just pulled up, I opened it. So hopefully they do the same. Hopefully I park in the same place I parked last time. And they just come and uh, take it off from the right hand side. What I'm gonna try and do is set my GoPro up. Um, my other GoPro on the wing mirror. So you'll be able to see them unloaded. And me. That's the plan. Right, we want to go left here. On that one, this one's coming up now. Left indicator on. Let's take up a bit of road just to make sure I get it through. We're through, double check. Right. <laughs> Every time I go over train tracks, I always look both ways just to double check there's no train coming. Just to double check. 
that strap is it's a bit low but it's all right all right what's going on here then So yeah, we're going in here. And there's no one to open the barriers for me. I think he's coming over now, isn't he? No, my ass end isn't sticking out, so that's all good. Are you coming over or what, mate? Oh, someone here. Eventually, I'll be let in. Eventually. Like I said last time, the gate is open straight away. Today is not the case. Uh, safety helmet must be worn, high vis jacket must be worn, safety footwear must be worn. Which is interesting because the other site I went to, they had a go at me because I was wearing shorts. I don't say yet to wear trousers. So let's get my uh, safety jacket on. How long do you think we're going to be waiting here for then? I don't know if I should start taking the straps on. Right, so uh, I'm going to go, seeing as there's nothing happening, and uh, fingers crossed I get the GoPro set up. Okie dokie, sit rep. So, uh, in, back in Bristol, unfortunately, I couldn't get the dash cam, uh, the GoPro up to record. Uh, it was all sort of go, 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 I just didn't have time to get it out, so hopefully I'll uh, try and get it out on the next one. Since then, we have driven 60, 70 odd miles to Glastonbury. I've stopped for half an hour break. Had a little kip on the back of the bed. It's amazing what a 20 minute, like a 20 minute rest can do, honestly. And um, we're literally just around the corner from Glastonbury site now where we uh, need to pick up some more containers. Just gonna give him some room on the left. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how many I'm picking up this time round, how big or anything like that, but we are going to soon find out. Three quarters of a mile and then we're turning right, it's just uh, these fields on the right of me. Now, I've been told that he might be waiting for me at the top, which is good, because that means he's gone down and picked up the cabins that I've got to have, put them on himself, and then he's going to meet me at the top. Glastonbury, because obviously Glastonbury is massive, and then load me at the top in the boneyard. So hopefully he's there, and hopefully it's just a case of, uh, well one of them I imagine would already be strapped down. It'd just be a case of lifting that straight onto my bed. So fingers crossed I'm only here for sort of 15-20 minutes. Fingers crossed. 
Now, I've not come into this site before from this way. Just going to make sure I don't miss the turning. Yeah, you better go, mate, because I can't get around that. Uh, I'm going to go in the wrong way because it's easier. Like I say, it's easier, but I still was very close to that fucking pole. Jesus. Still getting used to the, uh, the turning on it. Cheers, bud. There, mine over there. Yeah, so he's already loaded, look. They look like two, uh, one big one, one small one. So basically what I had last time. This road is so friggin' bumpy. Just let them know that I'm here. Oh, fuck me. It's really bumpy, this road. I'm doing five miles an hour with that. It's incredibly bumpy. <laughs> Round the circle we go. I'm literally where that bloke is up ahead. I'm literally just going to park myself in front of him, uh, uh, the, by the side of him, and then that'd be me ready to go. Then there is a lorry behind me, so I'm just going to let him know that I am stopping by putting on my hazards. There we go. I'm not going to open my door yet until he goes past. Excellent, right, so we're going to get loaded on this one and then we're going to crack on. Right, so we're just heading off now. I've put a GoPro on the, um, on the wing mirror just so you can just see how wide this load is. It's not like totally wide, but it's wide enough. Definitely don't really want to take anything wider than that just yet. Just while I learn. That tractor is stonking down. I'm just going to put the paperwork in the drawer a sec before I pick it. And off we go. Well, I say off we go, I haven't actually put the thing in the sat nav yet. Cool, right, so I'm just going to take this GoPro back off. Right, 
Hopefully got a little bit of footage that we can use. Let's see if I can do some more later as well. Uh, this is going to be a beacon job because I've got some tight roads to go down. So um, definitely going to be a beacon job. Clear to the left, not clear to the right. Clear to the right, not clear down to the left. Come on. You're good to go. Got to take it nice and wide out because it's quite tight. Yeah, so huh. I've got to go down some tight roads in a sec, um, and my load is hanging out off the side quite a bit. So it's going to be interesting when we get down some of these tight roads. For the next sort of 45 minutes, it's going to be clenchy bum time. Come on, clenchy bum time, clenchy bum time. You know you're a big load when lorries are moving out your way. When lorries are swerving over to allow you to get through, you know you're a big load. It's fucking awkward because like, I've got to watch shine posts and stuff on the left. And lamp posts and things like that. So I can't just hover to the left all the way by the, by the hedges. So if I hit a lamp post, A is going to cause a lot of damage to my load. And B is going to cause damage to the environment. And someone's going to have no electricity tonight. Like, personally, I'd rather concentrate more on my left watching the stationary um, stationary what's the word stationary obstacles because at least on the right hand side people can actually move out of the way but um, I mean like people drive wider loads than this it's just I'm going down some tight, tight kind of tight roads it's the A361 uh, through Glastonbury so they're quite tight sometimes for two lorries to pass at certain points, let alone a wide load. So we could have some fun times up ahead. This is nothing yet. This is nothing. At least that's a car broken down, not a lorry. Trailer is now past it. Come on guys, budge over. Fucking hell. You should work for them. I can say that now. When I was driving my eight-wheeler, it was for Tarmac. Delivered Tarmac. In a company, by a company called Tarmac. And the only reason I couldn't say who I work for was because they specifically asked me not to. They found out that I was doing YouTube videos and uh, requested that I didn't announce who I work for. Right, what's this lorry driver going to do? Is he going to slow down? He's coming at speed. I'm right up against the bushes. I can't go any more to the left. And now there's a road sign there, so I've got to get out quickly before I hit the road sign. Oh, that's close. So just like I said, you can't just concentrate on the cars or the traffic. I've got to concentrate on the lampposts and the road signs and everything else that goes with it. So it's going to be tight around here if I meet a lorry. It's one of those things where you don't want to go too fast in case you do meet a lorry, but you don't want to go too slow so you get around before you do meet a lorry. 
So there's a lorry there, but this road is not too bad. I literally can't go anywhere more to the left. I mean, he does have a path he can go up, but he doesn't want to. It's okay. Now I've got these buildings to the left. Like I said, the cars coming up have a path to go on if they want to. Watch around here. Nothing is coming yet. So let's get on out. If anything comes now, we are screwed. Oh, that was nice. Yes, yeah, so we've got our beacons on. It's flashing and everything to warm people up ahead. But um, I don't have any beacons on the back. The trailer doesn't have beacons built into it, unlike some trailers. Our car didn't want to stop, he kept going. He soon realised I had a trailer behind me. So, we've kind of come out of a part of the tightness, but we've got more tightness yet to come. That lorry's seen me in, he's letting me through. And because I overhang on the left, I've got to be careful of pedestrians. I don't want to take their head off. So he had his nose sticking out too much. Is this car going to stop? Yes. He had no choice but to stop, because if he didn't, we'd both be stuck. Right, we're sort of halfway through now, I think, the tightness. I'm not going to get around you. <laughs> Just check all my straps are still on while we went around that corner. And this is going to be quite close to. I'm honestly not checking out the girl. I'm making sure I don't hit her in the head. <laughs> right, so we've just tipped there. Unfortunately, again, I didn't get any GoPro footage from the outside. Um, I, this time I did actually set the GoPro up and it was recording for about 45 minutes. Um, but no one come to tip me for about 45 minutes. So um, yeah, I went out there and turned it off. Five minutes later, they turned up and they tipped me. So um, yeah, it's a bit annoying, obviously I've not got any footage on the outside, but don't worry, there's plenty of time to get more footage. Um, really good thing about driving a Class 1 vehicle is it's a lot easier to actually mount the GoPro, there's a lot more fixtures to mount it to. Um, so the, yeah, there's like a pole right on the back of the fender, so there will be more footage. And I'll uh, Look forward to doing some more videos and more interesting places that I go to, more camera angles and all sorts. Really looking forward to doing a night out as well at some stage. I don't know if I'll be sleeping in this cab or not, but I definitely will do a video vlog for uh, what I do during the night and stuff. Don't worry, kid friendly. <laughs> but um, yeah, really enjoying the Class 1 experience. Like I said, I'm still very new. I've only been driving Class 1s now for six days. Um, so yeah, I'm still very new. You might you might have seen things that I've done and think, well, you shouldn't do that. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm doing anything wrong. Um, like, what's the best way to keep long straps up? I know some people sort of fold them up and then put them underneath the ratchet and close the ratchet. But when you've got a wide load, the ratchet just makes it even wider. So um, is there any other way of doing it? Let me know if you know. I'm learning still. I'm like I said earlier. I'm not a perfect driver. I'm still learning. 
and I will learn for years to come. But I'm thoroughly enjoying class one work. I love the fact that I'm doing sort of wide loads already. I've done curtain sided as well. So um, yeah, who knows what else is going to be on its way. But yes, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it was a while before I uploaded a, a, a class one video. Like I said, I just wanted to get my feet, you know, nice and secure and feel half, half comfortable. Um, so the first day I was shitting myself. <laughs> But um, yeah, never mind. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, drive safe. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.